Okay, so the first thing, the question is, uh, what is Maven? Right. So when I look at the Maven, uh, Maven is a build tool. Okay. After the, you, you know, you write a code, uh, you need to build that code. And for building the code, you need, need to have some sort of automation scripting. And that scripting will be done by Maven. So here is a build tool. Uh, this is for Java. Okay, Maven is for Java. And in fact, this is written in Java also. Okay. So primarily it's a Java tool. But uh, there is one more tool which we have, uh, which can be used for the various uh, other languages. And that is a Kraken. Okay. And this is a free tool and it's open source and uh, that's managed by open source by apache okay so that is something which you can read understood now why do we need it because of automation we want to why so we want to automate every build process automate build process and for that we need this tool now Next thing, because it's written in Java, if you want to install it, how to install it? Uh, so first thing, you have to have a Java installed and Java Home has to be set up. JDK primarily you need actually. Uh, and, uh, that uh, is required. Java Home, Java should, JDK should be installed and Java Home should be set up. So that is something which you have to do. And after that, download this uh, Maven, extract it and set in the add in the add uh, maven home maven home directory uh, and then into the path so these are the things you have to do that so in in terms of java jdk let me show you my uh, windows machine so So if I go to my workspace here and uh, here I'll go to the Maven and this is a Sunday, right? Today is Sunday. So this is the one. Okay, so now uh, in this empty directory here, I'll go to the command line and first I'll check whether, uh, whether java is set up or not and jdk is there now so type java so i see that java is there i want to set the java version and here if you see that it's a jdk 8 which is there now java home is there or not so java home uh, you can also check so for that echo this is the Linux A windows, right? So Java Home is also set up. Uh, where do you set it up Java Home and all stuff like that? Let me show you environment variable. Go to this. See, this is Java Home. And under the path, this should be bin directory, which is, um, I'm trying to locate. This is the one. Okay, so these are the two things for Java you needed. After that, you need to download the Maven, extract it, and keep it at some place. So typically, I download every tools in C drive, tools, and here it is. This is the Maven. So from where you will download, so just type Maven download, Maven download. Here it is, this is official website and here you have, a, don't download the source code, download the zip file, I mean bin, uh, compile code. So this is the you want and extract it and this is the one. Now this directory, you need to set in the path. Uh, okay, that is important, this directory. So where you set it up, if you look at this, here it is. So in my environment, uh, you have uh, Maven, Java, everything set up. Okay, all of you are comfortable so far? All of you? Yeah. 
okay so now next thing is how do we get started so first thing you need a project step number one you need a project and after that once you need the project uh, need a new project let's say and after that step number two uh, you need to know how maven works that is something which you need to know how maven works because uh, in maven uh, everything is, has been automated so probably you don't have to write any lines of code and something like that if you understand maven how it works and all so coding is being generated automatically and that you can use it so that is possible so how how can you do that i'll show you and then how it works and after that few commands which you have which uh, we need to get started so let's try to understand that part just give me two seconds so guys in maven uh, here first thing we have a maven life cycle okay maven life cycle this is something which you want to understand then you now want to understand maven phases then you want to understand maven goals okay and something like that so these are the stuff which you need to understand so maven uh, let me show you some blogs for this maven so here Maven life cycle, Maven pages, and Maven code. So here, <clears throat> so first thing is, what is a life cycle? <clears throat> so life cycle <clears throat> is a very simple way to understand. If you want to manage for everything in the whole world, for everything there is a life cycle. So same way, software also software build process also have a life cycle okay so software build process also start and end so life cycle means something from start to end so when i look at this software uh, this is the six phases of software development life cycle so we do analysis design development testing and all the stuff like that so there is a start to end so same way maven has uh, a life cycle maven has a life cycle to manage the software build process and these life cycles we have three default life cycle clean life cycle and site life cycle so human have one life cycle but for managing the build process for the software maven has given three life cycle uh, by the way you can develop your own life cycle also that is possible uh, that means your your own way to manage the so build software build process so primarily will be stick to the default life cycle so that means any projects you want to manage the build process or uh, any any build process any projects build process you want to manage you can use the default life cycle so when we have a life cycle then of course we'll have a phases right so these are the phases you look at this here for the software development life cycle these are the phases analysis design development testing so for human this is the this is the phases correct so like that we have a default life cycle has certain phases and these are the phases you see that here validate in a slice and all stuff like that so here uh, we have a default life cycle and then we have phases and now here you have phases these are the phases so some of the phases I'm going to name it out here. That's something like a plump pile phases. Okay. Another phases you can name it is like test phase. Another one which you want to do the package phase. Okay. These are the phases of software build process. And then uh, install install phase. So these are the popular phases which we have in the map. Okay. So now these are the phases. Now next thing is okay so 
uh, what does that mean, mean about the compile phase, test phase, package phase, and install phase? So compile phase means you want to bring the project, the source code, whatever you have, into the compile stage of uh, build process, or you want to uh, bring that to the testing phase, or it's called packaging phase, or installing phase. So these are the phases. Now the question is, how do we go to these phases? How, there is a source code available, so how do how do we go go there? So then in that case, in Maven we call it a goal. Okay, goal. So here, uh, fortunately, the name of the phases and name of the goal is same. So there is a compile goal. There is a test goal, there is a package goal, okay, and install goals. But understand that technically, uh, theoretically, this is phase is different, goal is different. Phase is basically uh, which represent the phase of your source, source code, and goal basically here represent that how to reach to that phases. Are you able to understand that here? Yeah. yeah. So here you see that these are the phases. Out of some of the phases I mentioned, here clean phase are there, here side phases are there. Now this is a also you have it phases, clean phase you have here, side phase here you have, and this is the default phase you have here. After that, you see that these are the flow. So typically, first happen first uh, uh, default lifecycle flow is like first you do the validate, then compile, then test, then package then integration testing then verify then install then deploy so this you you see that this is the phases so let's say you say you want to go to the package you start with validate let's say you want to go to the install phase of your software product then you have to start with validate so it's like this uh, for example you cannot become young immediately you have to born and then become teen become kid and all stuff like that so that's a way about it so now uh, here you you see the mapping of the goal you have in this image okay so here you have a goal so compile compile goal test test goal package uh, package jar goal jar goal package goal uh, we call it same so here for every uh, life cycle there is a goal attached to it so here you see that uh, like these are the left side phases and the right side goal you have so here sometime you see the same goal compile compile and install install so you see that these are the phases and these are the goals so this is the right compile compile goal uh, package jar goal test 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 goal install install goal deploy deploy goal so here uh, phase represent the at which phase you want to take to the source code and goal represents the how to go about it, how to reach to that particular uh, phases. Are you comfortable with it, all of you? All of you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so now this is something which you need to understand. Uh, now, every feature of Maven is in plugin base. So here, Maven, which you see, there is a, a core which you have Maven core, and then any features which you have in Maven is a plugin concept. Plugin means you can install it separately also, or there is a, some plugins they have given it uh, inbuilt in Maven. So this is called core plugin. Okay, core plugins, and then second one is community plugin. Okay. So these common plugins are nothing but a jar file or something. Okay, so this playlist community plugin. So these are the two types of plugin we have. Now these goals which you see is powered by core plugin actually. Thanks for watching. Want to study further? Join our training programs today.